Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and as you noticed, I'm late once again this week. But not all of this one's my fault. Our internet's been running slow. It's been taking a long time to upload stuff. Uh, you know, the other channel I'm partnered with, uh, my pastor, Next Level Revelation, I uploaded his video yesterday. It took 12 hours to upload it. And it wasn't because of anything other than I got a new camera and the footage is obviously much clearer and the files are a lot larger so it just takes longer to do it. The other thing is it has been about 30 degrees out here in my shop for the last three days. We had a cold front come through, dumped snow on parts of the state. We were supposed to get snow in this part of the state, but I could put all the snow in a small cup that I saw in our yard. So it didn't get as bad as we thought, but it's been really cold. And the next thing I'm gonna do is a logo that I'm supposed to be doing. And I'm doing it out of red oak, so I've gotta glue everything up. So I hadn't got that done yet. So that's one of the processes that I haven't showed you all yet. And I, the last video was some stuff I didn't hadn't showed you before. I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Just kind of the process I go to in preparing to do a cut on the CNC machine. So let's go. Okay, so I'll let the cat out of the bag right off the bat. Uh, the stuff I'm using here, this is actually pallet wood. And it's going to be for a pallet company out of Davis, Oklahoma. And the reason he wanted it done out of this particular wood, this is red oak. Why somebody would make pallets out of red oak, I have no idea. He also threw this in. I'm not certain this is red oak with it. It doesn't look like it, but perhaps when I plant it down, it will be. So the thing with this kind of stuff, as you can see, I've got nails in it. You just gotta be really sure to get all the nails and metal out of the wood. And since this piece is gonna be about 12 by 13, I'm just gonna cut inside, cut inside the nails right, right here. And I'll have big enough sections that I can make a board. And so once I get these cut, get all the nails cut out of them and cut into the dimensions I want, I'll run each piece through the planer, get a nice smooth surface on it. Then I will glue them up and then run them back through the planer again after they dry to get a perfectly smooth surface. You know, in red, this is the first time I've ever cut with red oak. Usually you see me doing stuff with white oak. And white oak looks like this right here. This is a big bundle that I got here this real ball, while back. And I plan on making a few things out of it. Obviously I can make quite a bit out of it. I've got six pieces of 12 foot long white oak there. And so that'll glue up a bunch of boards. So that's what we're gonna do real quick. Okay, so now I have these cut up into just smaller chunks. I'm not real worried about the length dimension yet, simply because I'll, once I get them all glued up, I'll run them through the table saw and get them all nice and squared off. So what I'm doing now is running them through this machine, which this is a 13 inch thickness planer by DeWalt. I'll leave a link for it down below if y'all want to look at them. They're on Amazon affiliate stuff, which on that topic, when I send you the Amazon affiliate stuff, if you were to go purchase something, I do make some money off of it. It's not a lot, but I make a little bit and it honestly doesn't hurt you one way or the other because you don't see any change in price. The price is the same regardless either way. Just thought I'd throw that out there. I don't want y'all to think I'm hiding that stuff from you. So, what we're gonna do is run this stuff through the thickness planer, try to get it all to the same thickness, and then we'll go to the table saw and get the edges all cleaned up.
Okay, so now you saw me run it through the planer. I don't exactly have everything to the exact thickness I want it yet, but what I'm gonna do now is go through on the table saw and go through and just smooth up the edges so I can go ahead and get it glued together. And the reason I'm gonna do it in this order and not have it completely uh, plain to thickness, I'll get it all glued up, and then after it all dries, I'll run it through the planer several times and give me just a perfectly smooth surface to see and seal. Okay, so you guys can see that this is three of the four. This is all planed down. The edges are nice and clean. So whenever I put them together, it makes a nice smooth seam. So whenever I flush them up, the seam is nice and tight. It just looks continuous. So what I'll do next is I'll, I'll slide them all up tight together. I'll put some glue on them. Go ahead and put clamps on them and let it dry. And then once it dries, I'll then run it through the planer again and get the surface perfectly smooth. Okay, so now that I'll let that dry probably for 24 hours, it's still pretty cool out here. And uh, I'll hit it again tomorrow. I'll come out here and plant it down. And if you're wondering that one spot where there's a knot in the wood, more than likely what's gonna happen is I'm gonna cut it to a, the dimensions I need it after. This is bigger than what I'm after. It's ended up gonna be pretty small, about 12 inches by 12 inches. So I can cut that knot out, it won't be an issue. So whenever y'all hear me talk about I'm gluing up wood, this is what I'm talking about. It's a kind of a process. So whenever I'm doing somebody's stuff out of oak or a lot of times cedar, I have to come go through this entire process every time and it's fairly time consuming. When you hear me doing stuff out of uh, birch uh, or any kind of the plywood, which is a large board, it's a dimensional wood. And I mean, as you can see, it is perfectly smooth whenever I start out. So I don't have to go through the planer. I know the thickness is exactly three quarters of an inch. I just have to cut this to dimensions on the table saw. I'm ready to go. That's why I enjoy doing it out of uh, birch so much is because it's not near as time consuming. Birch handles the paint real well and it really takes a stain really well. So I've been real impressed with birch and have been doing a lot of stuff out of it lately. So just a couple more things, guys. Uh, I've actually had a couple of comments about the hoodies I'm wearing, the t-shirts I'm wearing. And as you can see, it's, Smoky CNC Woodworks, my logo. And don't know if you know it or not, my wife does screen printing embroidery. She has had a store for years and we just recently closed it because we're gonna start trade showing one full time. So she's working out of the house. So keep an eye out down uh, below most of my videos. I'm gonna put up some links that if you want some smoky CNC hoodies or t-shirts, you can order them. So another thing I was going to throw out before I get off here, I don't know if you guys remember, a while back I had another channel called Smokey Uncuffed. On that channel I would talk about law enforcement from the side of law enforcement and basically just life in general, anything I want to talk about, where we were going. So I've kind of quit posting on that about five or six months ago. So I'm fixing to reinvigorate that channel and I'm going to do it in kind of a different way. It's still going to be smoky and cuffed. It's going to be much of the same content, although I'm going to throw a lot about social networking, social platforms on there, uh, life in general. But here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start a podcast. And if you're not familiar with podcasts, you got an Apple phone or even a Samsung phone, they probably have an emblem on there somewhere. You can click on it and you can listen to a podcast. A podcast is basically 
this kind of format, but it's only audio. So you can listen to it going down the road. So basically you're just letting somebody talk about a subject or tell a story or just whatever. So what I'm gonna do is do a podcast on Smokey Uncuffed. I'm gonna video it, put the content on the YouTube page, and I'm gonna launch the podcast where you can find it on podcast. It's just kind of an idea I've been playing around with, something I wanna mess with and just see if I enjoy it. Because honestly, this stuff right here, I love doing all the YouTube stuff. Don't necessarily love doing all the editing I have to do because I mess up a lot that you don't see. And so, one of these days I'll put out a pretty good gag reel if I can remember to save all the content. I mess up a bunch. So, anyway guys, that was just about it. I mean, I was just going to kind of show you what I talked about when I was doing uh, gluing wood up and preparing for the cut on the CNC, it's not always just snap, snap, snap. And I would honestly put out two or three videos a week if I really could. And at some point I hope to up it to at least two. But I, honestly, the stuff that whenever I cut it and it takes 10, 15 minutes, it might have taken me two hours to cut it, another hour, hour and a half to sand it, paint it, polyurethane it. I mean, uh, I spend four or five hours on each video and you only get 10 minutes. So that's why I don't do more videos and sometimes it's hard for me to get out here to do it is because time. Now this week, cold. I'm a weenie. I don't come out here when it's cold. Guys, that's going to be it for this time. If y'all haven't done so yet, please subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.